Good morning. I survived my very cold night very well. Um, the only times that I got cold, and I never really got super cold, was when I would shift and then get a blast of cold air. Usually actually not from the side or the top. I was pretty good about sleeping on top of the gaps of my sleeping bag, but actually for my sleeping pad, even though it's an X-therm, in the baffles where I wasn't, cold air would collect and then if I kind of shifted to the side of the night and had to like find the middle of the pad, I would get like a small blast of cold air. Um, I found for me personally it's actually warmer to be completely wrapped in my bag than to clip it around my sleeping pad. Um, so that's just kind of like a side effect that's going to happen anyways, but overall I slept really well. Um, these things work really well and they're still warm. Um, I mostly lost track of them during the actual sleeping, um, but I'm sure they still helped keep it warm. And they are still really warm right now, so I have a few more hours of use out of them, even though they've been used now for like 11 hours already. Um, but yeah, it's like 27 degrees outside right now, like the weather forecast showed it getting colder and colder and colder with 6 a.m. actually being the coldest and the sun comes up and it goes up from there. So I don't really have any motivations to get out of bed right now. Um, I'm going to have a more slow morning, um, but my plan is to do 17 miles today. Alright, so it's 7.30 and I'm just getting started. Um, it's definitely going to be warmer today. I can already tell, which is awesome. Um, wearing a lot of layers for now because it is still cold, but I don't think it's going to be like that for much longer. Um, the hardest part of the day is right away. I'm going to be climbing back up to 8,000 feet, but then it looks fairly mellow. Looks like we stay at 8,000 feet for a while. Um, yeah, ready to hit the day. I do need to do a yard sale at some point with my sleeping bag and my tent. Um, we had some fog roll in in the morning, so everything is really wet. So that needs to be dried out, but not worried about it. And there's a coating of fog on the lake, but not here. I just switched into my t-shirt for the first time in like four days, which is an amazing feeling that it's actually warm enough for that. Um, you might notice my t-shirt is different. Um, I had my dad send me this shirt to Big Bear um, and I sent back my first shirt because it was kind of chafing me sometimes in a weird way and I also didn't like how it was showing dirt stains even after washing. You know, kind of uh, superficial but still. This is a shirt that I wore on the JMT two years ago um, and it's still kicking. It still does great. Uh, it worked really well for me so I was like better go back to the basics, what I know works for me. Um, it's a $7 shirt and it's amazing. This is a really nice top down view of Big Bear area. Oh, I think everybody hates trail that's like this, but uh, ditto. I don't know the name of these cactuses, cacti, but I really love their flowers. All right, I declare this open campsite as my breakfast spot. Man, they don't mess around with these signs here. There's one of these every 20 to like 50 yards or at least every 100 yards. They're everywhere. And I mean, bicycles are never allowed on the PCT, but in this area, they tell you over and over again. I swear, you get the weirdest, most annoying songs stuck in your head when you are backpacking for no reason. Today, there was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name oh, all the time. Every step it matches my pace somehow, driving me crazy. All right, so the first person who I know of the people who are leaving from 266 Big Bear this morning caught up to us, which was Fast Track, um, unsurprising with his name. 
Um, but he said that he saw Sticks, who someone I've been hiking with, and she had to take a few days off trail due to injury. So I'm excited to hear that she's back on trail. Um, and I hope, secretly hope, that she can make it to our campsite. But that would be a big day. That would be 19 miles for her, um, which is probably asking a bit much. Whoa! Sorry. <laughs> My trekking pole just got stuck in some rocks and did not leave again. I almost got thrown backwards. Anyways, I'm secretly hoping that she pulls 19 miles in order to catch up with us because I like hiking with her. Um, I've been texting her so she knows that that's where I'm staying. Um, but it's a big ask because she has been injured. So I'm not at all sure that that's gonna work, but I'm hoping at least maybe in Wrightwood or something we'll catch up. So yesterday I listened to the trail correspondence um, podcast about the gear that's worked for them or not worked for them. So I decided I'd give my two cents as well. Um, overall, I'm very, very pleased with my gear. I have only sent one item home and it was the stuff sack to my pillow, which was tiny. So, I mean, it was a very tiny thing that I sent home. I actually added to my base weight because I picked up, um, well, I had my parents send me um, flip-flops for camp shoes because I very quickly realized that I really wanted camp shoes, especially when you have blisters and you wanna walk around at camp without being in pain camp shoes are key. So mine are super light. I just have the foam flip-flops from like Target, so they're probably the lightest thing you can find out there. Um, but overall, I'm really happy with my gear. Um, I've definitely found that me with my semi-freestanding tent, the Nemo Hornet, um, I have way less problems in wind than the people who have single wall tents um, or with trekking poles. So I'm pretty happy with that in the desert. Um, cause we have had many windy nights. Um, overall, I'm happy with my clothes and gear. I'm staying warm as long as I layer correctly. I've already talked about this before, but I love, love, love my um, Outdoor Research Helium jacket and pants. I wear them almost every day. And I find them super useful for wind protection and rain protection. Um, I've heard they can wet through on the AT, but we've been through some heavy rain-ish and I didn't get wet underneath, so it's working for me. Um, my favorite, favorite, favorite gear purchase is my through pack. Um, I love it for around camp. I love it for around town. I love it just in general since I don't have hip pockets on my pack. Um, when we had a zero in Big Bear, I literally never took it off. Like, I put it on in the morning and just kept it on all day because it's so useful to just have this like super comfy pocket with everything that I need. So that's definitely my favorite um, gear item and I would definitely recommend it. Um, yeah, I mean, overall, everything is working for me. I think the one item that I've only used once were my sunglasses, um, and I'm not gonna send those away, especially because they're gonna be really important in the snow. And the other item is Body Glide. I haven't had any issues with chafing, so I may still dump that in a hiker box. Um, we also haven't had very much heat, so sometimes it's hard to tell, but yeah. Overall, really happy with my gear, and I did choose some heavier items for comfort, and they're giving me comfort, so yeah. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna go to the next campsite for lunch. Just took my lunch break, and the sun disappeared under some stratus clouds, and it got really cold really fast, so I decided I couldn't possibly bear to take my puffy off yet, so I'm sure I'll be gone in five minutes taking it off, but... At least I'll be, have a semblance of warm until start sprinkling a little bit. Um, it seems like everyone and their mom is going to Little Bear Spring camp for camp tonight. Like almost everyone I've talked to, and I've met a bunch of new people who like didn't zero like I did. So they're like catching up to us. They are all staying there, so it might get crowded. I've definitely noticed that terrain has a huge impact 
on how much foot pain I have. This is pretty ideal. Um, rocky hurts and too sandy hurts. But this is like firm but springy. And I have no pain walking on this ground. So I've hiked 12 miles now. Um, two and 40 minutes since lunch, so I'm making pretty good time right now. Um, I have five more miles left till camp, um, and I'm feeling pretty good. If anything, I even feel a little better than this morning because the ground is a little nicer on my feet. Um, I'm sure by the time I get within one mile, I'll be sick and tired of walking, but right now I'm in a pretty good mood and having fun. Man, I have encountered more unique hikers, or just hikers in general, um, today than I think any other day in the past. Like, I have encountered at least 20 hikers today, and that's just people who are like passing me, and not even including some of the people that I know are on trail and maybe just a few miles behind me. Um, tons of new people that I don't know and just lots of hikers passing me up more, much more than usual. Um, I think that the bad weather probably just caused a big bubble to form in Big Bear and now they're all like setting out at the same time and probably most of them are hiking bigger miles and I won't see them again but I know for a fact that a bunch of them are going to the same campsite as me so I don't know it's just weird like the last few days it seemed like, especially at least the last week, maybe even the last two weeks, it's felt like I knew pretty much everybody around me and it was the same like 10 to 15 people that were kind of in my bubble. And now it seems like that number has grown to like 30 to 40 people in the same area, um, which is kind of cool. This burn area is kind of sad. Just everything is dead. Everyone and their mom is also passing me. I'm going 3.2 miles per hour right now. That shouldn't be slow, but it is. Like, so many people are passing me. So I'm about 0.2 miles away from my 17 mile day, and it's not even four yet, which basically means that I have been booking it since lunch because at lunchtime, I had only done like, maybe nine miles, um, if that. Um, but yeah, my left foot is hurting a little bit. At this point, I'm so close, I'm just gonna push through. And hopefully there's a campsite for me because I do know a lot of people who are planning on being at this campsite. So, we'll see. Well, no sticks. Um, two people I know um, went past where we camped and two people, three people I didn't see, so I'm assuming they're behind us somewhere, but we met some new people, and they are very nice, um, and I think I want to try to do about 15 tomorrow, because I don't want to make it to the hot springs yet, and I'll tell you why tomorrow, um, but camping looks pretty tricky, so we'll see what happens, but tomorrow should be an easier day to, than today, which is nice.